All right, so I want to learn a new character today. So everybody knows Byaki is my main. If they come into this chat and they say, are you no longer a Byakia player? Did you switch? You hate Byakia now? Shoot him on sight. I don't want to hear this shit. So here's what I was thinking. There's a few characters that I was interested in trying. One, obviously, I knew I would probably enjoy Phonon, but I don't really feel like trying her. I feel like Byakia already satisfies a lot of the things that I would want to do with this character anyway. I think I'd probably like Eltonum. I think I'd have fun playing Wagner. I think I would like uh, Chaos, because Chaos is just, he's an interesting character design. Carmine is too similar to what I'm already doing with Byakia, I feel like. It's just a worse version. I'd probably like Merkava also. And I know I'd probably like Yuzuriha, she's just too much work for what I, for you know, a secondary character that I just want to mess around with. So because of that, I thought about the most interesting character out of those, and like the character I don't see that, that much, and I think that like people would probably think is fun to watch. I mean, I feel like I don't see them very much, so I wanted to try them just because I think like the the interest for me is high in trying this character, and like I don't think a lot of people see them very much, so I'm gonna try Chaos. I think he's a cool character, because, right, I don't know that much about him. All I know for sure is that he has a dog, right? He has a dog. And he's got a book. That's all I know about him. Damn. Oh, this fucking pose when he's charging is the book flipping pages? When he runs, the book flips pages too? Wow, that's actually true. Where's the dog? Oh, there he is. I like his pants too. He's also wearing chucks. This is part of the reason I liked him. What's his name? His name is Ozzy? Okay. Well, he's a dog. Anyway, 2A, B, C, 2C. His pants are lame. What the fuck do you mean his pants are lame? He's wearing gray pants. First of all, he's got a very cohesive outfit. I don't think, hold up, let me move the dog forward so you can see. I don't think you understand. His outfit is actually like extremely cohesive, right? Number one, gray pants, black cuffs, right? Then he's got the black sweater up top. Then he's got the tan, like the light blue socks that matches the jacket, right? And then he's got the basic chucks. You can't go wrong with those. He has a very cozy outfit. 2C, wow, his 2C is pretty far. Four circle, four day. Slash. Is all of the quarter circle forwards this dog slashing? I don't have meters, so I can't do anything else. Fireball, fireball, fireball. Okay. 2C, C, C. Wow, standing C, C. That's cool. So his jump 2C knocks down, it looks like, when you bring him up in the air. Right? It just drops him. That jump button, that seems pretty good. So 2A, B, C, 2A, B, C, quarter circle forward A. Dog slash. Pretty is pretty standard so far, right? Core circle forward A, core circle forward B. Wow, it's like a Rekka. Okay. Can you do core circle forward B, core circle forward A? Hey, go up there. Oh, you can. Whoa, if you hold the button down, he does something different. I see. He goes off screen. B, C, C, core circle back B. Fireball. I can probably do like B, C, C, core circle back B. Yeah, and then do a combo off of it. That's pretty cool. Well, Dash C does not have as much range as I thought. I thought it was gonna be like Byakuya. Damn, bounce him off the mirror. That's that's six C, right? So bounce him off the mirror. I wonder how easy that is to confirm. Can you combo? Oh, oh it, it does not hit up close. Okay. Two A, B, C, quarter circle forward A. Wreck a super with the dog. All right. Let me just see what that looks like by itself. Okay. His get off me buttons don't seem that good. This is not very far. That's not very far. Okay. A, B, C. Damn, maximum dog. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, 6C is pretty pretty fast, pretty far button. What do you think, though? It's not special cancelable. Maximum dog. 2C, dash C. Uh... I see. So that's probably one of the main BNBs. Core circle forward A. Oh, he's got a DP in the air, too. I should probably try this mid screen as well. Yeah, you can delay it a little bit. Nice. Dog combos. 2 2 A. Oh, is this like the dog summon? So when the dog's gone. I wonder if this is how you summon him. No, he stays in place. What happens if I do 2 2 B? Teleports to him. Jump 2 C, 2 C, quarter circle, 4 to A. So this is the dog combo. Oh, I probably have to hit him. How, I wonder, I should watch the demo and see how they want me to do this. Interrupt or wait? Yeah, they want me to wait. Hey, doggo, you got a hit right here. Okay. C, 
6C force function. Wow, that was really far. Wow, that's pretty cool. This, this in a this in a force function is pretty good. I wonder how late I can do it. Assault 2C. I figured that would be pretty good. That looks like his his air to ground button, right? 2A B C C C jump C jump B jump 2C dash C. That seems like his basic route. Uh, I always do BC 2C. I should do CB 2C, right? The force function won't come out on block. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Burrows. All right, standard dog combo, right? Standard B starter, B, C, C, jump C, jump B, jump 2C, 2C, quarter circle forward A, quarter circle forward C. 2 A B C C C. It's always like that. He has his two hits C. They want you to use a lot to confirm, right? So, so it's jump C, jump B, jump two C, dash C, C V O A B C. Maximum dog. Four one. Okay, so we're, we've made it to the real combo now. 2 A A. B, C, jump C, C, et cetera. Jump B, two, jumps. Sorry, jump C, jump B, jump 2 C, 2 C, quarter circle forward A, quarter circle back. What is quarter circle back? Fireball. Quarter circle forward back B, quarter circle forward back A, quarter circle forward B, DP. Okay, let me see the timing on this because I feel like there might be some delays. So, standard stuff. Fireball, fireball. Oh, you, all, you just do it fast. Okay. Yeah, it's not like the execution is particularly hard. It's just remembering, like, what I'm supposed to do, right? But once it's in your muscle memory, it's not so bad. Whoops. Yeah, that's what I need to do. 60 into 4 seems like a pretty, pretty common combo that you need to do, right? So let's see. 60, force, dash C. Add C. Wow, you can do dash. Oh, dash standing C. C jump cancel, and then do the same route essentially, right? Quarter circle forward A into the rest of it, like the same as before. Quarter circle forward B into D P B. Okay. Oops. There it is. So that's like a pretty standard. That looks like a pretty standard combo. Okay. Two two A. This is the teleport thing. Jump C, jump B, jump on over to thanking Phenom for the Twitch Prime. Thanks very much. Hey, what up, homie? Uh, 2 2 A, jump C, jump B, jump, jump 2 C, 2 C, same thing we did before, right? Quarter circle forward A, quarter circle back B, quarter circle back A, double fireball, and then quarter circle forward B, DPB, right? Damn, that did a lot of damage. Yeah, I need to do that low enough so that the jump B connects, right? That's the part that's important. It, it seems like it's the exact same combo as before, just off an assault. Before I did this, I was talking about the characters that I think are interesting in this game. And uh, he was one of them that I just really wanted to try. 2C is my low starter here. 2C, C, 6C, force, dash. Dash into jump A, B, C, B. What the fuck? Oh, it's standing A, right? No, it's not. It's jump. What the hell? Let me watch this. So I want you to do jump ABC. Oh, okay. And then the standard chain, and then after that, you just do the same. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I get it. You hear these damn dogs in the background mad that I'm playing with this dog and not them? Nice, I just gotta do it faster. Okay. Dual side break? What the hell does that mean? View dog. So 2-2-B I haven't used right, but it's the same combo essentially. Wow, it goes to the other side. Whoa, that was tight. Okay, so it's 2-C, C-C, D-P with A, and then jump cancel. A, jump C, jump 2-C for the knockdown, right? So it's nothing crazy here. It's just a new route, so I gotta put it in my head. God damn it. 
I did not think that was gonna combo, so I didn't do it. But I did think that Mr. Keebler hit me with the 18 months. Thanks very much, Mr. Keebler. You powered me up to get the combo. Thanks very much. We gave him a Nada Dragon. Is that because he has a book? Okay. How do I do this? What does it want me to do? AC, quarter circle forward. Double A set 2C. So I do double A while I'm doing 2C. Is that what it wants? Like that. 2C. The two double A hits. Or the 2 2A hits. Jump C, jump B, jump 2C. 2B, quarter circle forward B. Delay the DP. Delay or do the next DP, right? Let me view this again. I see. Yeah, I see. You can cancel 2-3-6 and a 2-2 two, two very fast, really. Oh, I just have to do it really fast. So the issue... Oh. The issue wasn't that I wasn't Gatling it. It's just that you can do that really fast. That's the part I need to watch next. So how do I do the delay? So you do this part, summon. Boom, 2B. Oh, it's not that big of a delay. It's just, a, it's a very slight delay. Yeah, like that. There's not really that much of a delay there. Okay, corner combo now, right? So AC, quarter circle forward A, 2-2A, 2C. 2-2A hits, same route that we just did, 2B, quarter circle forward B. In the corner we wanna do fireball, then DP again, then fireball, then DP again. So that's the only change to this combo, essentially, right? The most important thing about this part is canceling quarter circle into down down as soon as possible. It doesn't matter. The 2C part is much less important, it feels like. It's like more how fast you do the 2C, 2-2-A, two, two, right? Because if you don't do that part, that part fast, you can't do it anyway. Well, the thing about Eunice is that it was growing before it was announced the Evo, right? In fact, that's like why it's there, is because the game was... It's one of the few games that was growing without like crazy tournaments or support from like, that are like put on by devs, right? It doesn't need anything like that. It's just the game is really... People just like it. It's like a cult where like everybody's like... Play Eunice, it's the greatest game. Which is uh, really nice. Like, people are just really interested in the game and they want you to play it. Okay, I think I understand. I understand how the delay works there and that it's only so that you don't do it super low off the ground. That's all that matters. You don't have to do it super delayed. Yeah, that was it. I knew it as soon as I hit that part that I was going to hit it. All right, counter. Counter C, is that what it is? I feel like C is not gonna reach there. C B quarter circle four A yeah two C two two A hits six C what six C forward what is that what does that mean what does it say forward a walk forward C add C jump C jump B jump or jump C jump B jump two C two B quarter circle forward and then D P D P okay. I need to do this, 6C, walk, CC, and then do the rest. I can't move forward in between the combo, right? Let me see how far away he does it again, so. Cancel, boom. Oh shit, I have to do the 6C right after the two AA hits. I see, so I wasn't doing it, I was doing it too late. I'm doing core circle forward A, 2-2A immediately, and then doing 2C, Gatling 6C, walk up, stand C, right? 5C. So when you do core circle forward A to 2-2A, like right back to back, right? You have to do it like essentially immediately. Otherwise, you don't get it, right? So you have to do it like as early as possible. So that way you can move after fast enough like that. How do I get the double DP to hit there is the question. Maybe I have to delay it a little bit. That's what it is. All right. In the corner, CB, quarter circle forward A, set, 2C, 2-2A hits, 6C, jump C, B, 2C, 
2B, Core Circle Forward A. Same series we did before, right? Core Circle Forward, sorry, Core Circle Forward B, Core Circle Forward Back B, DP, Core Circle Back A, DP. We got all the timings down for the combo. Whoops, it's just about remembering what we're supposed to do. Yeah, this is a big starter in the corner, and it does a lot. I'm gonna hit this shit, and I'm gonna feel so good after. Ah. Welcome to Jurassic Park. That's what you have to do with this character. BB? I didn't even know he had a BB. Delay C, jump. Delay B, C, jump DP? Whoa. 6C, 2-2-B. Wow, this is getting crazy. Okay, let me watch this. Combo looks, this combo looks tight. Damn, that was cool. That was tight as fuck. So this is like a better mid-screen combo. That's the timing. And then, core circle back. DP and then spike his ass down with the fucking that's like the top the Tidus fucking blitz ball spike from fucking FF10. There it is. Let's see the demo here. B B C jump route knock down. That's a chain. Whoa. Okay, so you do B B C. Right, that's like the route in the corner now. Jump cancel, jump C, B, 2C, dash C, 2-2A, and then you're chaining dash C, 2-2A into 2C, stand C, quarter circle back, quarter circle back, quarter circle forward DP, right? But, yeah, don't worry, this week I'll be doing NCR prep, so. You'll see some more Street Fighter soon. 2A, dash. 2C, C, add C, jump, boom, 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 dash C. Let me look at this combo. I, this is one of those ones I need to see what's happening. Oh, I reverse B off the super that he does. I see, slow. What did I do wrong? Whatever I did wrong, it wasn't what Carson FGC did, who just got a bunch of gifted subs from an anonymous member. Thanks very much for gifting three subs to the channel. Damn. So this is just like a jump in, right? Success. Veil off setup. It wants me to do 60 force into Veil. Okay, probably. Oh shit, it's getting crazy. Does everybody have this many trials? I feel like he has so many. All right, what's this combo? I'm not looking. 2C, core circle forward A, core circle back, boom, boom, double fireball, core circle forward B, and then delayed super with the 2A, run up, dash B, CVO, ABC. So let me look at the timing on this. I see. He has a shit ton of trials? Why does he have so many? Yeah, that's what I want. Okay. <clears throat> I figured it out. Yeah, CBO is ABC, so it's ABC, ABC. B, 2B, 2C, C, stand C, like add another one, jump, boom, boom, boom. Wow, this is like a double CVO, core circle back. Oh shit, this is a different route. This is very different. And then run up CVO, yeah. Damn, that did a shit ton of damage. Oh my god. It's oh, it's not 2B, it's BB CVO, core circle back, core circle forward, air super, air super, whiff to a run up CVO. Yeah, I've already betrayed Biakia's theme. No, I played it in the beginning of the stream, even though I'm not playing Biakia right now. 
That's how loyal I was. Yeah. Not quite as much damage because I don't think it hit as much. Oh, okay. Those are all the thing all the combos. So it's saying if this hits, do that, right? Or if it does hit. Right, the normal route after. That's my reversal. I need full meter to do the maximum dog. Assault jump to see. Yeah, that seems like the better one. That's his ant here? That doesn't seem that good. All right, so we learned a little bit about ugh, chaos. We did all those combos. I need to watch your anti-chaos game. I need to watch some chaos footage. I need to watch some good chaos players. Is there any good tournament footage or anything of a chaos player that I should check out? Oh, shit. First match is Clem versus Trill. All right, I'll watch this. All right, chat room. You're going to have to teach me a little bit about this character. Let's watch this. Cool. This is Level Up Live, as always. But if you think this bad, he might Bringing in the good footage. Let's know, see here. I've never seen him play Phone on vs. Chaos. I did see the Jax reveal, yeah. This thing is okay, here we go. Let, I, I, the, there's, a thing, there's a couple of things I want to see, right? Far C, slash, slash, 6C. Oh, nice I like that. Oh, okay. I, I think I understand. Double fireball, jump back. So it seems like there's a few things you have to do with the with the dog, right? Assault combo. Yeah, do you just run away when the dog's not up? Which is he discovered that Chaos's loser can be summoned and then CS in the first couple frames. So he just summons it and the Damn. Okay, we learned a lot this round. Damn, this character looks so fun. Okay. So here's some things to keep in mind that we saw at the start of the round. We saw dog Rekka with M, and then when the dog goes past you this way, obviously they think it's off screen, people want to jump. So 6C. 6C immediately, right? That seems like a pretty good answer for when people want to move forward or they think like he's going to do something. Counter hit 6C, oh, nice run up, CC, boom, boom, Good boom, hit. standard route. B, double fireball, and then jump back, uses like light slash. And so when you're, and then medium slash, right? Okay. Then what was the setup to get locked down here? It's quarter circle forward A, 2-2-A, two, two, right? And then run up and run pressure off of assault or not. I see. We we don't see the corner route because there's a drop, but CS off CS off fireball is interesting too. So they're saying that the tech is when you summon the dog, you can CS really fast and do something quick, right? Actually has this new tech he's been trying, which is he discovered that Chaos's loser can be summoned and then CS in the first couple frames. So he just summons it and then blocks. What the hell is that? So summon and then block. I see. That's cheap. That's pretty good. All right. so Stand C, game, jump back uh, off the dog, yeah, fireball. That's something I, didn't know about I see. But then when the dog dies, how fast is the cooldown? It's just this in the top right, right? Okay. Two two A seems like the standard pressure thing that you want to do. Oh, you're probably dead, right? Okay. Damn, this character looks fun. So assault combo. It's it was quarter circle forward A, two two A, and then stand C. I wonder if that's easier than two C. And then yeah, that was like one of those. You know that you know you're gonna kill. You don't have to do anything crazy, right? I like that combo. All right. So that's a this is a good game to watch. There are some rounds where people just explode. Like that. Kind of like that, yeah. Especially when uh, you see it, you have to deal with the setup you've never known about before. So Clem actually just opting to go straight back into it. See if he actually has any adjustments made. Gets hit by 60, counter hit again. It's looking a bit like the first two rounds. Right. All right, he's back into the corner. He's trying to properly shield the lizard so he can get more bull. It seems like the plan is when you're... Lizard is doing stuff, you should pressure with the lizard, then CS after, or sorry, uh, charge Vorpal after so that they just have to respect it. 
This is where he's very weak, right? He just has to block his way out of this. Or veil off, I guess. Blizzard out. 2-2-B. Two, two so, they said frame trap. So what is he frame trapping with, right? 2-C, quarter circle forward, A, 2-2-B, two, two, run up, force function to the other side, side switch, gold throw. So he did the 2-2-C two, two, super. Is that what this is? And then goes low. And then full combo off this. Damn, that did a shit ton of damage. Tick throw off of that. Damn, that's good. Okay. I guess he didn't trust that he would. He should probably OS throw there. Gals looks really fun. Grid broken, so he just thought he could react to the throw in time. So it seems like if you want to end your pressure on anything that lets you move forward, 2-2-A is the one, right? Is 6-C punishable? Is that why you tried that? He's doing DP-DP 2-2-A, DP, right? That's like the standard, like, I want to press from far. Yeah, dog summon. That's good. And then dash C at the end of the combo. Okay, so it seems like most routes, that's what the end of the combo is going to look like, right? Oh. Oh boy. Dog hasn't got hit. Damn, that sucks. Oh, but he drops his combo and gets punished. This is a 2A starter. Boom, boom, boom. Knock off the wall. I like that setup. And then, yeah, you just get the charge. Counter hit 6C, you're dead. Damn, Chaos is cool. Okay. You can only kill Ozzy with B buttons or stronger. I see. Yeah, 6C is like such a huge button on the screen, right? It seems like it covers so much space when dog's not out. And then you just do core circle forward. Then you can do uh, DP, DP, 2-2-A. And then that gives you time to charge uh, or run up and run pressure off of it. That's interesting. So this is the other winner's semis match. This should be loser side. This should be loser side. It should be more loser side. More loser side. This should be winner's finals. Yeah. Yeah, he comboed off 6C without the dog there. Okay. More, 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 more. What do we we gotta learn some stuff here? Alright, so Trill's already set wow. Nice throw here from Trill. So what do you do to summon the dog here? Just Ah, 6C to check after in case he tries to do something. DP's charge to win grid, but he didn't get it. Not only did he that sucks. Not only did he charge to try to win, but then immediately he lost it and shielded, so he got blown up. Damn. Damn, this did a shit ton of damage. Oh, he wants the corner carry. Except he's in the corner. And then he also tried to get Warble as well. Oh, throw I think he would have got a combo off that, right? That's good. That's cheap. Knockdown in the corner. So dash C is like the you're in the corner, you have a knockdown, that's what you want to do to end the combo, right? Dog summon in the air seems really good for when you're coming down and people are trying to anti air with traditional buttons. Counter hit. Oh yeah, he has veil off, so he's gonna do all the extra damage. But he does for Oki. Yeah, get enough meter. Ah, I see. Wow, that was pretty good. So high jump to see you off the assault and then just go two three six A. This is the throw twice. Oh. I see. So there, there's a few interesting things that we're seeing there, right? Is that like, when the do whenever the dog is on top of you like that, like, and is b especially behind you, it seems like 2-2-B is so good. Wow, he almost got a counter hit combo off that. Jump dog summon like that seems really, really good. 2-2-A. And then, even though the dog gets smoked there, I think you're okay with it, right? Wow, 6C. 
Staggers? Hey. Oh. Oh no. Wow, B Tonsu destroyed the dog. Uh, he tries to back, dash back in, but gets hit by TC. Alright, knockdown. Back to full screen. Shows us like, hey, give me that warp, but Squish manages to steal properly. Oh. Squish gets a confirm on that no tech. Oh. Run up to B. Uh, B Jesus Christ. I hate Akatsuki. This character is fucking horrifying. Seems like Veil Off is the maybe best defensive option, right? You don't have a 100 meter super that's invincible. So, I, I mean, essentially, you have to use that instead. So, he used 236C to. Oh my god, the dog. The dog! He used 236C to get pressure here. I thought that was cool. Right, put him on the other side, and then super goes low, goes, yeah, it keeps it nice and tight, nothing crazy. Dog smokes him, boom, boom, boom. That sucks. The lizard helped out a lot. Troll, troll, okay, handing Squish. He's like, that was cool, right? Squish is like, you know what, you got it, you got it. This character looks really fun. Alright, there were a lot of instances of where... Wait, like, yeah, Damn! That was so fucking tight! Kind of oh, that was probably dash... Dash... Uh, C, right? Okay, this combo is cool. Alright, there were a lot of instances... So, he does core circle forward A, core circle forward B, he passes through him, then he does DP, and the DP... And he whiffs standing... Okay, this is sick. So it's core circle four B, it puts him through squish. Then he does DP with the lizard with two A, or he like reverse beats it. Yeah, like, and then the lizard knocks him back in so we can do two C, yeah, put him off the shield, right? And okay. then boom, 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 boom. Probably supposed to be dashed. Squish kind of made the match a lot closer than it needed right. to be. Squish was evening up the game with his, a couple of hits. Look at this hit right here, going to corner carry. Oh. Drops the combo again. All right, shielding. <laughs> Bitatsu is the answer. Yeah, he got grid broken by the assault again. Oh my goodness. Look at that damage. Alright, knockdown. Uh, get, wow, he manages to side swap, but he loses Warpool. No throw tech. Bitatsu beat the two, eh? Alright, is that it? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. He's gonna spin. Oh, Peter. drops the, uh, the very last couple hits here. Alright, throw tech. Dash up? No. Wait, how's he still. Wow. So he did the dog summon and then throw, and then the dog came out after? Your favorite Akatsuki player also does Bitatsu in control, but only when he has uh, resources. Well, he parried in between that? That was interesting. Because there's a gap between the first part and then the fall down part, right? tried to actually do the cost of throw on. Wow, what an aerial Bitatsu. Well, he had meter. That was cool. He used CS and then he saw the low poke, so he tried to assault it instead of like with punishing or like doing anything else. Jump in the air, high dog summon when people are on the ground to stop anti-airing and making them respect it's pretty good. What a way to punish that. Alright, knockdown. No parry. I'm surprised. He actually saw it come out. He wasn't committed to How good is Akatsuki in this version? Or sorry, as good as Chaos in this version. Yeah, his force function, is it invincible at all? Or is it just he gets out of the corner with it because it just happened to work? Wow, that's Damn, that looks tight. That Bitatsu is tight as f- Oh, shit. That Bitatsu? Yeah, that was fucked up. I guess I never asked how good Byakuya is either. I just assumed he was a good character. He seems good to me. Oh, there it is. Okay. So I, so I guess there's just like delay to see in that situation. Right. He recognized that Squish was late teching it in the first place, so he went to punish it. Damn, his backdash still got smoked. He probably just called it out, right? No, shield to jump A. All right, knockdown. It seems like many of his. Oh, that was fucked up. Can he kill all this with super or something? I think Troll actually dropped the last two hits there. Still probably wouldn't have killed, but. Oh no. Wow, DP into Core Circle Forward A to trap him. That seems pretty good. Ozzy. I think uh, the call out on the back dash with Bitatsu is actually really cool. I want to see the start of this hit though. 
I'm going NCR, yes. Is the cross-up protection so wide that if there's a big gap, it won't work? Like, so what we see is... Runs up, Ozzy's on this side. He force functions through right here. Is there a big enough gap that that wasn't a left-right? Because of cross-up protection? Or was it actually? It looked like one to me, right? That looked like a real cross-up because there was enough of a gap, right? But the setup is... I think Trill actually dropped the, the last two hits there. He still probably wouldn't have killed, but... Oh, no. That seems so good to me, by the way. Being able to cancel in the air to quarter circle forward A to constantly keep them from moving or doing anything. Any move in any fighting game where a character can be up... I'll show you guys what I mean. Anytime a character in a fighting game is up here on the screen, but they can attack on the ground or diagonally down like this, is always very pesky, right? Particularly because if you're, if you're a Kotsky here, if you see him up there, you want to pursue on the ground and use a button to check him. Or you want to try to anti air if you think he's going to come down, right? That's, that's just like fighting games in general. You know, that's like something that's very annoying. So anything that can attack downwards at this angle while you're up in the air or put him over here is very good. So right, even though he up backed, he still had ways to attack these positions on the screen. Oh no. Uh, Ozzy, finishing off the first round here for Trill. <laughs> All right. That's very good. Round start. Oh my god, I thought he was actually going to beat Tatsu and get hit by that. Oh! Wow, I thought <clears> he jumped over him, but... That's really just fighting games in general. It's almost it's always a useful thing to have. Why did you three kill? Oh no. Needy's with lows, 2B. Doesn't get the combo. Alright, throw tech. Wait, he just dashes through Ozzy. Yeah, he did. He didn't give a fuck. Damn! That's going to be a lot of damage. If not dead. That sucks. Double super? Yeah, oh, there it is. Damn, you got destroyed. You wanted to veil off? Ooh. He's feeling it though. That also did 6k. That was a lot of damage. Baiting the BO into a raw 6C. Uh, that's so much damage. Alright, nice. Oh, gold throw. He was still in block stun from the 2A, right? So this is like a standard 2A combo, right? Air chain. 2C, Fireball, DP, DP, Charge, CS. So, <clears throat> it seems like what he's winning off these hits are, are not huge damage, but more of... Because, you know, that's that's not crazy, right? But what he does get is he didn't spend any bar, and he gets good positioning after. He gets to build Veil off also. Or, sorry, he gets to build uh, Grid as well. He just gets to Charge Vorpal. See, look at that. Same position, or same thing I just talked about. The jump back, being able to jump back, and then Akatsuki here sees the jump back, pursues, still gets hit out the air. It's very good. Just goes low. <clears throat> he kept it pretty tight. That did a lot of damage. Oh my god. That full screen lizard confirm was crazy. Okay, hold on. He gets hit by quarter circle. Or he gets hit by the DP after the quarter circle forward A. He does quarter circle forward B. Fireball. Fireball into quarter circle forward C. Run up, dash C to get the knockdown. That did a shit ton of damage. Combo off the throw. So the what was the setup here? He did 2-2-A? <clears throat> or is this 2-2-B? Run up and throw, oh, hits it. him off of it, Control boom. Picks up that throw. Two to a back throw, okay. All right, so this is this is looking a lot closer than I initially expected, honestly. I'm not gonna lie, I thought I thought this was gonna be at best three one. But Trill is taking it. It might be three one Trill actually. Let's see if Squish can actually make this comeback happen. I like uh, I like this character. He seems really interesting to me. Ooh, all right, six C and also the Aussie summon to protect himself. Damn, he gets clipped and Ozzy dies. Oh no. He jumps out. Yeah, I'm surprised he hasn't started doing that earlier, but I guess he feels like he needs to do it now. You know what's scary about a character like this is that when the right pilot is behind the wheel, right? <clears throat> this is a pretty scary thing to deal with. Cause like Akatsuki is one of those characters where like I feel like what the character is going to do, you know. But like when someone just has really, really fucking good reads and is really solid in the game, it's hard to deal with. 
So how is he delaying a 2-2-A? Two, two is he just holding the button? Damn, grid broken. You know, I would wake up DP there too. So he did the summon into CS again on wake up. So you're just like, oh, this is okay. And you're like, no, that's not okay. You just think, oh, he's CS, he's blocking? No, no, no. Wow, trade combo. He's already calling a summon. <clears throat> it's counter hit trade. Six C C S seems pretty good. Wow, he missed the corner, uh, combo and cornered himself. That sucks. He tried to do the jump, uh, like air series in a knockdown, right? Empty assault to probably try to bait shield or throw or something. I gotta tell you, the more I look at this character, the more this seems like the part that I will think is very good. Jump back over the fireball, oh, course circle back. forward C, oh, and then you get the combo off of it. That's so good. It looked like he tried to medium his jump, but he missed and he got called out. Oh no. Chill on chill, point. Running across the screen, staying out of uh, Akatsuki range. He's doing a good job of dash blocking through the lizard and the 6C, right? Wow, that was far. So far. I honestly thought he was going to get counter oh, no. Counter hit off the lizard, side swap. That was really great, right? So Lizard trade, oh, no. dash under on the 2-2-A, charge some of the uh, grid, then get the confirm. Knock down with the fireball, dash C. Back throw, you have to tech because otherwise you get comboed, right? But then if he runs up and does assault. Yeah, throws in between the hits. There's like a little gap before he does the overhead follow-up thing, right? Doesn't get the dash up throw? Uh -oh. No, Chaos isn't my main. I just started playing him today. Oh, shit. This this is really good. They said this is new on commentary. Wake up, summon the dog CS. So is it Fireball that he does or 2-2-A? It's 2-2-A. That seems really good. And that's it. Trill does it again. So that, that kind of just blows up anything that's not completely invincible. Wake up, Lizard, CS. That seems re really good. <laughs> that loses to a meaty. Okay. It loses to B, Tatsu. Okay. It, it doesn't, I mean, it's not invincible, right? 2-2-A can't be invincible. It's just like a summon. So if it's not like a very tight meaty, then you're okay. But if it is a tight meaty, then it'll hit you. <clears throat> Holding button and then releasing a button. So let's say in a fighting game, this is not negative edge work. Let's say in a fighting game, you have a move that's quarter circle forward A. See that? Quarter circle forward A. Right? If you hold down the A button and then you do quarter circle forward and release it, that's negative edging a move. And in most games, the command still comes out if you hold it and release it. But negative edging can also just be holding a button and releasing it. In, in this case, this guy, if you hold a button down, he moves forward, right? So that makes him walk forward. So what I'm saying is sometimes there's a combo that I get, right? Like this one. You see how far away he is during the combo? I want to make him run up. So what I'm doing is after I reflect, I'm holding down B plus C. And I'm gonna let go of B and then do standing CC and then he'll run up, right? So that's all I'm doing. Because normally you see how I wanna do that and it doesn't reach, right? Because I made him negative edge, he ran up there. You see that? So negative edging is just holding a button and then releasing it. See, so when I. This character's actually got a great example. So when I hold the button, notice how he runs forward. When I release the button, he starts walking back. If you look at the notations up here, when I the button is there by itself, I'm holding the button. When it's empty like this, I'm not holding one. So button down, button release. See that? Yeah, I wanted to mess with Chaos today. That's what I was thinking about. I was like, you know, this character Chaos would be fun to mess with. And uh, I want to try him out and do his missions just because I think he's cool. I'm probably going to watch some more footage and uh, then try to mess with him a little bit more. But uh, if somebody wants to play games that's on the West Coast, I'm down to play it. I'll try Chaos, and we'll see if the router has recovered from the beatdown. Let's, let's see what my... Oh, my man is fresh, for sure. I have the same color Converse as these.
I tried to do the combo, but I couldn't do it. But I could thank Shadow Assassin 3 3. Thanks very much. I'm mad at how well he's playing in this connection. I don't know. It's six frames, right? Like. Oh God. Seven frames? I try to summon the lizard, bro. to shoot shoot the fucking M version and I was gonna kill him. Oh no. All right, well, that was a good run. I wonder where Sentai is from, considering that connection. Thing is, like, you know, I've never, I've never played against uh, a lot of the Castles, so when I see them, I'm like, yes, this is what I want to fight. Switching after like three or four games, it's like, boo, no one wants that. Maybe we should try some more chaos. I keep doing his air route in my head anyway, right? We might as well fucking do it. Oh boy. Okay. No, I didn't think he was gonna land and hit a button, but I feel like I should have expected. Oh, that's plus. All right, all right. I see. Couldn't summon because that hit him. Oh wow, I thought he was gonna do a combo. What the hell was that? 
That's wrong. Oh, I did the wrong thing. He was hitting 2A that whole time, wasn't he? What is that? What the hell is that? He has a full screen super, huh? Okay. Can you block it in the air? Oh. So I tried to do my lizard because I was like, oh, this might hit me. Oh man, I tried to do 2-2-A two after, but it didn't come out. Hey fella, you got a block. Standing C to make that confirm easier for myself. Been an open lobby, we've just been playing games. All right, all right, all right. I got 2 2 A instead of 2 A. That's all. Are so weak that I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do with about that. I was trying to, I tried to throw, I didn't try to shield.
Ah, é assim. I think I should have done a better confirm off of that. I should have done like a run under and side switch. I don't know what to do. When he's jumping at me like that and I don't have the dog, I don't know exactly know what my best strategy is. Right? What is my answer here if I don't have the dog? Do I have one? Alright, fellow, look. You gotta block on wake up eventually. The nice thing is, it's like, because you know- Oh, I supered, okay. 6B. I thought he was gonna jump, and I thought that would beat it. He's gonna run up to me and jump. Oh, well. The problem is like, yeah, that those buttons feel so weird to use. I tried to do my super. Just FF or shield? So, okay. So don't answer then. He doesn't have like a traditional answer. Because he doesn't have like a 3C. Hmm. I see. Yeah, I know who he is. 66B is his anti-air? Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah, that's kind of hard. 
See that right there? That I don't really know like my best answer to, but he's gonna do it again. So just assault and punish. I guess that's the strategy. Wow, it didn't reach. Oh. Wow, that trade was crazy plus. Alright. Yeah, I mean, here I can just choose shield, but you know what I mean. Okay. The games. 236A can be used to rebeat like a move still. That's right. Okay, that's a good point. 236A, 2A whiff is plus 10. Yeah, okay. I should be doing that more. I probably should when I have him out like that and I'm worried about neutral. I need to use more 6C. Yeah. No, I remember someone saying that earlier. Yeah, I remember you saying that. It's just hard to remember that that's something that I should do. Because a lot of times I feel like I do 2A, and then I do like stand C and then something else. I should use way more 6C. 